a little overcast there. Yeah, uh, just a little. I'm Johnny Mountain along with Ann Martin we saw a moment ago. And this is Chuck Henry and yes. this is our couch and our little... It is Wednesday, <laughs> September the 28th. Welcome to L.A. Today. On the show this afternoon, we're going to talk about today's kids. It looks as though some of them are beginning to hit the streets. They're riding around on motor scooters. They're wearing skinny ties. Not quite like mine. And they call themselves mods. So what In Los that? Angeles, have, they have such a diverse um, crowd of people coming together uh, in one style. And mod is... Out of all the subcultures that appeal to today's kids, parents, you're going to be happy to know that there's still one that has an optimistic outlook about the future. They're called the mods. You know, when you walk down the street, someone says, hey, you're a mod, you know? Back in the early 60s, a group called The Who personified a certain style that became the mod movement. Mods rode through the streets of London, Liverpool, and Leeds on their specially customized scooters. They were politically aware, wore stylish clothes, and set fashion trends. Back then, their motto was, clean living under difficult circumstances. I'm a part of the new breed in town. But this isn't London, or 1965. It's L.A., and the mods are back. Basically, the punks say, um, in order to change things, you have to destroy first and start from the bottom up. A typical mod um, attitude would be to look around, you know, um, survey what's happening around you and um, work that to your advantage. Kevin Long is a member of The Untouchables, a band that mods of the 80s rally behind. And it's a real strong showing of unity. I think that's the key word to the mod scene. Never before, I think, in Los Angeles have we had such a diverse um, crowd of people coming together uh, in one style, and mod is the style. Parents will be glad to know with all the bizarre and negative subcultures around, the mods are basically optimistic about the future. And if there's anything about the whole mod philosophy as a movement anyway, it would be to, you know, get off your bums and get out there and dance and, you know, don't waste your life away watching TV. The kids are, you know, out to have fun, not to hurt anyone. There's no violence, direct violence involved. I guess they make me feel like I'm part of something, like I'm, like I'm not just another hole in the wall, you know? If you look in magazines now, you know, in like China and places like that, the mod movement's big there. There's a lot of unity in the scene. There's a lot of uh, black and whites who get along very well because they know it's a very natural thing. We're all part of the new Music, fashion, and politics. They're all part of the mod scene. Here in Southern California, most mods seem to focus only on the latest trends in fashion and music. But the original mods from the 60s say it's politics and the sense of unity between the races that really defines a mod. In any case, they're back. But my dad, and he's really conservative, but he understands. He thinks it's sort of neat, you know, because I'm not on drugs and I didn't get a mohawk, so they're happy. 